This hadith uh, is narrated by Anas ibn Malik radiallahu an that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam performed uh, hijama he performed hijama and he did not perform wudu why did Ibn Hajar he brought this hadith here why did Ibn Hajar brought this hadith here exactly bleeding exactly that's the, that's the point here that's the context of the hadith bleeding does bleeding breaks the wudu or not no it does not break the wudu if there is a cut on the hand of there is a cut on the body and the blood is flowing uh, profusely does it break the wudu no it does not break the wudu and this is the opinion of the majority of the scholars it does not break the wudu and this is the right opinion and some of the ulama holds the opinion that it breaks the wudu and that also with if it, if the blood flows little it does not break the wudu but if the blood flows too much that when that's when it breaks the wudu am i clear about this sorry according to some of the scholars and what are the what is that opinion is if the blood flows little if there's a cut and blood flows little it does not break if blood blood flows more it breaks the wudu and we know the hadith of umar radiallahu anhu when he was stabbed in salatul fajr he continued praying and he finished the prayer and sahaba radiallahu anhu when they are in the battlefield obviously in the battlefield what happens hmm? they will have cuts wounds isn't it in that situation they used to pray and it, they never used to perform wudu again so with this we understand that it does not break the wudu